Hi, Libra. Thanks for tuning in to watch your February reading. So this is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is also if you're spying on a Libra, wondering what their February is about. So what we're going to look at is your month overall in general. What does it look like? What kind of challenges are you going to face? The vibes that you're putting out there. Um, and then kind of give you like an area of focus or a goal for the month of February. We're going to look specifically at work, career, and finance, your love life um, for singles and for couples. And then we're going to look at uh, what is your personal growth or development look like for the month of February. And then um, for those of you who don't follow me on social media, you might not know this, but I am obsessed with crystals and healing energies that come from those. So I'm going to pull you a crystal of the month as well. So let's just get started. Libra, what does your month look like overall for February? Emotional balance, yes, and being really thrilled about it. Being focused on the achievements that you've made, giving yourself a pat on the back going, fuck yes. <laughs> um, by the way, I'm using the Gilded Tarot for those of you who give a shit about the decks I use and wisdom oracle cards for healing. Okay. So what are the overall challenges you're going to face in general for the month of February? And we're getting to do things like in a traditional way, the way that you're expected to do them, that might be hard for you. In general, what kind of vibes are you putting out there? Um, not necessarily loving communication vibes. It doesn't mean that you're being a bitch because there's a card for that. <laughs> it just means that you're not being overly expressive for love, or maybe you're not going out of your way to find love. Does that make sense? Now your overall goal for the month of February is going to be, or your area of focus, it's heart chakra related and it's about living in the moment. So it's saying every day try to, in the month of February, live in the current moment, being mindful, being present. Aquarius also had this and you're both air signs. So it might just be a theme for air signs in general. Um, it's about not bringing up the past because we don't want to stick in that past energy. So it says the goal here, experience how difficult it is to live in the present. <laughs> you know, like each moment, like, is this hard? Or am I making it hard? You know, like this could be easier for me in this way and then taking an action on it because healing is rapid for you if you're focused on the exact moment you're living in. Okay. So let's get into uh, career work, finance, that kind of energy. So what can we expect in the month of February in general? And they're saying things are not the way they usually are. You have a lot of, um, <laughs> you have a lot of this unusual energy. So expect the unexpected is sort of the theme for you, okay? But be open to different opportunities, things that you normally wouldn't be open to. Does that make sense? Now, um, what kind of challenges are you going to be facing in regards to your finance? To express joy for the current situation. So it doesn't mean that it's shit, right? But to be really, um, so a good way to actually do this is when you're paying bills, if you can remember to be mindful in that moment and you just go, you know, you're paying your bills online on your laptop and you're like, just more where that came from. Or I am so happy that I paid my Target bill on time. And now I've got like all this space on my credit card where I can go back to Target and get more shit. <laughs> you know, that kind of a thing. Express gratitude for the things that are um, related to money, finance, or work. Even if it's hard, force yourself to do it because you're only going to attract then with the law of attraction, more positive blessings and things like that. Okay, now in regards to the vibes that you're putting out with work, career, finance, um, that you maybe don't want to be there, you don't want to talk about it, you don't want to think about it, you don't want to do that much about 
about um, changing things. But that makes sense when we are expecting the unexpected. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to move, shift, change. So um, you, it's not necessarily this energy of confusion. It's just more like I'm looking at the things that don't work for me. And I don't know if I want to do anything about that. And I don't even know that I want to think about it. <laughs> and so in a certain way, being mindful can help us to avoid feeling icky feelings attached to it. But then it can also help us um, in other ways if we choose this, because life is about our choices, right? Um, it's about, I'm getting a weird message from spirit about you know, like what we think about, we bring about, but attitude of gratitude is going to be really important for you in regards to money. So, um, you know, if somebody offers to take you to lunch or like pay for something for you, just say thank you and accept it. Not that Libras typically have a hard time accepting, but that's a message for somebody. Okay. Anyhow, um, the vibes that you might be putting out are like, I don't like this. I don't like this. And so you can shift your vibe. You can make it better for yourself by just um, finding the bliss in the things that maybe aren't so blissful, typically, like paying bills. Okay, so, like when you pay your internet bill, you're like, thank God I'm gonna have internet next month, because <laughs> what would you do without it? Um, okay, so your overall kind of goal or area of focus for the month of February in regards to career work finance, is this guy enhancing your physical health so thinking about your physical self like how is that going to relate to finance okay well what it's saying is that with this brown kind of energy color here okay and then the maroon color which relates to your very lowest chakra your basic need is that your basic needs, like if you're looking at the Maslow's pyramid, the hierarchy of needs, what it's saying is that if you're paying attention to your physical health and, you know, maybe you're stressed like, oh, I can't afford my yoga classes anymore or whatever, or I can't afford to eat healthy because organic, you know, vegetables and fruits are fucking expensive, things like that. They're like... You know, this whole concept of mindfulness for you in general and in regards to money and things like that, they're like, it's very, very important for you in order to achieve other things. So um, if you can make it a point in February to do one specific thing every day that would make you feel healthier or things like that. Like even if it's just dr drinking an extra glass of water, which doesn't cost anything, um, you would see a lot of positive changes in regards to your routines, in regards to your work, in regards to your finances through spirit in some way. Now that way is going to be different for everybody, but they're really encouraging you to make that a focus. Okay. So, um, in this example of like, oh, uh, well, I can't afford my gym membership this month. They're like, find a, like, if you have, cut something else out and keep that, you know, whatever positive, healthy thing that you're doing that maybe you're like, oh, I just can't do it anymore. Because if you don't keep doing it, you're going to feel worse and you're going to kind of like grow this negativity around you. And I have this vision of like, of like kind of, um, what movie is that where it's like this dark cloud is like encroaching upon people and I see that for your aura it's like crushing you so um it's good like aura protection it's good um spiritual protection for yourself actually to maintain or start a very like sort of healthy regimen like one little thing a day and just carry that through it will help you financially because otherwise like all of this shit just kind of like encroaches upon you and uh, maybe it has to do with work career and finance in the way that like if you don't do that you're more inclined to um or you have like a greater likelihood of becoming physically ill and missing work and therefore making less money something like that okay 
So anyway, moving on to your love life. If you are single, what can we expect generally in the month of February? You might not be feeling super successful as to like people at your meeting. You might be starting to wonder like, am I ever going to find my happily ever after? That sort of a thing. That's kind of the vibe that you're feeling. Um, what kind of challenges are you going to be facing? And it's your challenge is actually about endings. So if you're maybe dating a person and you kind of know that they're not right for you, you're like, well, I haven't met anybody better, so I'm not going to close the door on this yet. But that's not helping you is essentially what they're saying. Or maybe you're holding on to somebody from the past. Maybe you can't seem to let go of people or ideas and things from the past. But there's something here that you definitely need to let go of for single Libras. Now, um, what kind of vibes are you putting out? And they say, well, you're putting out really honest vibes. So that's good. You're putting out vibes that you are trustworthy and you're not malicious. So, I mean, people will like that about you. It's just that maybe the people that you're meeting in the month of February aren't necessarily your best match. Now, in regards to like your area of focus or a goal that you could achieve in February for your love life, what I'm getting is... Um, changing direction. So if that's you, if you're like, oh, well, this person's great. They're nice. They're fine. Whatever. I'm not necessarily unhappy. I just don't see myself with them forever. They're like, bro, <laughs> let it go. Just ditch it because somebody better is out there for you. Will you meet them in February? Maybe not. But the thing is, is if you're holding on to this person that, um, and you're not letting them go for whatever reason, you're not creating an open space for the right person to walk through. And so they say making one effective healing choice, um, in regards to your love life is going to very positively change the direction and trajectory of your life. So think about that. And again, that same um, grounding, like root chakra energy, is that it's the basis for, you know, you've got down here your basic needs, okay, and then so on and so forth to enlightenment to like all of these awesome things that you want for your life to like your happily ever after. We had the happily ever after card in reverse. And so they're like, if you're going to resist it, that's your own decision. But in February, it's the month to really shift and change that and then start taking these steps to really feel good about the position that we're in. And spoiler alert, when we get to the crystal at the end, um, it is all about grounding and protection of our aura and um, those very earthy energies about stability and things like that. So for those of you who are coupled, what do we have in the month of February in general for love? And they're like, for you guys, though, it's a different kind of an energy. It's stable. It's happy. Um, this would be a good month to potentially start thinking about uh, getting pregnant if that was something that you were considering. It's a month of positive changes and a lot of happiness. Enjoy good communication with your partner. Um, the kind of challenges that you'll be facing is patience. And um, you're seeing things from a different perspective and you're starting to become more patient, but it is a challenge always to be patient. Um, and it's patient, not so much, it's not so much an energy of needing to be patient with your partner. It's more about needing to be patient while we wait for things that we desire in our life, like looking forward. Like um, a good example would be if you were trying to get pregnant, it's like waiting for that to happen. If you and your partner want to purchase your first home, it's about waiting for that right home to show up. It's about waiting for, um, you know, your credit score to rise, that sort of a thing, but being forward focused and then just kind of waiting for divine timing to bring that into your life. Okay. Now, um, what kind of vibe are you putting out in regards to love life for coupled Libras? Uh, it, nothing negative at all. You're not so worried. You don't have anxiety, no jealousy, no real fear. You're chill as a cucumber, and that is fantastic. Um, and I know I keep going back to talking about pregnancy. This must be important for one person here. But it's like because you're in that energy, that might be what actually helps you to get pregnant. Is because maybe before you were so stressed about it, and now you're like, oh, I'm chill, I'm cool. And so your body's like, fuck yeah, I'm ready. And then that egg just gets fertilized. All right. So for the rest of you, just ignore that. <laughs> okay, what is your goal in regards to, or area of focus in regards to your love life for single Libras? And there's two of them. 
Um, third eye related, and again, root chakra related. Um, so the third eye one is choosing to empower yourself. And so this is about deciding, I'm going to be positive today, or I'm going to be negative today, and um, hopefully I'm going to choose to be positive because that's empowering, and it attracts positive, awesome things into my life. And so they're saying like the actual goal is realize that you do have the ability to enhance your life every single day. And um, so this could be like you embarking upon a spiritual journey because it is that third eye chakra um, or to start writing in a gratitude journal or, you know, things like that. But but that's what it's saying is adopting positive mindsets is like a very spiritual thing for you in the month of February. Now, the other lesson here is, um, you know, really that attitude of expecting miracles and positive changes because everything is really harmonious in your love life. And so, you know, I feel a little bit guilty because this is maybe a specific message for one person, like, you know, those of like somebody experiencing infertility, but they're like, just expect that it's going to happen. Just expect that you are going to get pregnant. Like it will. You might not find out till mid-March, March 16th, actually, <laughs> but you will, okay? So anyway, um, expecting that miracles are going to happen, that healing's going to happen, that good things are going to happen, um, gratitude journaling for the things that you want in advance, that kind of a thing is going to work for you. Um, know that the world becomes a vessel for divine things when you see the divine in all things. So that energy of, again, being mindful and present in every moment and understanding that things happen in divine timing, which is totally your message for coupled Libras, where it's like the problems that you have are not, are there more like circumstances? Um, they're not necessarily with your partner and it's like they affect you both, but you're staying positive and being forward focused and just accepting that awesome things are going to happen in the exact divine and right time, okay? It's a little bit out of your control, but good things are coming for you as a couple. So, in regards to your personal growth or spiritual development, what do we have for Libras in February? Um, some of you are not doing much spiritual <laughs> growth or um, not necessarily, like, doing any emotional growth or healing. But the reason why is because you might be a little bit afraid of it. You're afraid of what happens next. Now, um, personal sidebar anecdote, um, my journey was really weird when um, I had like these kind of abilities when I was younger and I didn't understand them and then I just kind of shut them off for a while. When I was pregnant with my second child, this strange guy showed up in my life um, three random times in three separate cities, all kind of far away from each other. It was really weird. And I totally have stranger danger. I don't talk to strangers, <laughs> but for whatever reason, I, and he like approached me and I was like kind of open to it. And we had a conversation. He's actually the person who told me I was pregnant before I knew it. And he was like, dude, you need to do like get back in touch with your spirituality and awaken your psychic gifts. And I was like, mm, no. Second time I see him, he tells me the same thing. I'm like, mm, no. Third time I see him, I totally, like, I'm like, no, 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 but I'm listening to what he's saying, and he's like, um, you know, this is, this is something you have to do. He doesn't tell me why. He's just like, you have to do it, and so I go, um, well, here's the deal. I'm afraid, and this is how it ties into your reading. Um, I was like, you know, I'm afraid that if I open up that part of my mind um, again, that maybe, even though I never had a ne negative experience, so this is entirely fear-based, I was like, I'm afraid that I will see things or experience things that are scary or I don't want to. And he goes, okay, well, um, whether you want to do that or like you don't want to do that doesn't change the fact that all of these other energies you know, like scary, spooky spirits or whatever. Um, it doesn't change the fact that they exist. And I was like, wow, that's profound. But I was like, no thanks. <laughs> and I went on with my life. Fast forward five years, my son is five years old. He's getting sick all of the time. Um, at the time I worked in the medical field. So he had 
multiple specialists. He had um, the best doctors around. I live in Minnesota, a place known for medicine. We got the Mayo Clinic here. And, um, you know, he was seeing a pediatrician pediatric oncologist. He was seeing a pediatric rheumatologist. He had heart scans. He had all of this stuff. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with him. He was um, sick 12 days a month minimum, missing all of his school. And we're like, what the fucking fuck? So I take him to a shaman. Boom, he's better. So anyway, he's having all of these strange sleepwalk episodes. And I was like, how can I help him and tell him that things are going to be okay if I can't see what he's seeing? You know, my special little, like, psychic baby. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to cry because <laughs> it was so sad. It was like, I can't tell you that things are going to be okay or not to be afraid if I don't see what you're seeing. So I went on my spiritual journey. And I got back in touch with my spirituality and now this is my life purpose. You know, I've walked away from teaching. I walked away from medicine and here I am. <laughs> but point is, is, um, what was the point? Oh, <laughs> your fear. You actually don't have anything to be afraid of if you're only working with love and light energies. Okay. And that's what I do. That's how I do your readings. I channel, um, your angels, like, right? Like I don't deal with anything dark or, um, witchy. Okay. So anyway, they're like, you might be resisting this. You might be pushing it away. You might not be open to the experiences. You might not be opening to listening to your spirit team, your angels, your guides, all that stuff. But now is the time to maybe do that. Okay? All right. So I kind of lost track of where we were. <laughs> your spiritual growth and development. That's your challenge. Um, the vibes that you are putting out in regards to that. They're like, okay, so if you are one of those who decides, you know what, I am going to listen, I am going to pay attention to my spirit team, I am going to pay attention to these um, messages, and I'm going to be open to these experiences, you could go really, really quickly down a super spiritual path and um, really fall in love with your spirituality and um, be super guided and surrounded and protected by your spirit team. Um, you're, it's like all of a sudden, like a purpose just ignites within you and like you're down this like really fast and straight path towards your destiny towards all of these things that you want for yourself um that maybe you didn't even realize that you want for yourself um not to say like you become a zealot or something you might become um a little bit more religious or something like that but all of a sudden it's like you're super able to manifest the things that you want like the secret or law of attraction is going to start working really, really well and fast for you. Should you be open to receiving messages from spirit, God, a lot, angels, whatever, whatever you believe in energy universe. Okay. So what is your overall goal or um, area of focus for the month of February in regards to your spirituality? And you've got two. Okay. Again, root chakra, fear chakra. <laughs> So root chakra, becoming better. Becoming better is the theme. Okay, so what's one thing that would make you better and more empowered to like be who you are, do what you do, that kind of a thing? Um, your goal, recognize how and why you're self-sabotaging you're self -sabotaging your own empowerment or your own betterment, especially in regards to uh, your spirituality. And the answer is your fucking fear. Get over it. Get over it. Only welcome love and light energies. Only deal with angels. You know, you don't, there's nothing to be afraid of. I'm telling you this. I've been doing this for years now and there's nothing to be afraid of. That was entirely unreasonable. Okay. So speaking of fear, <laughs> practice the art of transformation. So acknowledging different situations and things in your life is how you're going to get all of this power to transform. You have to first recognize the issue in order to change it, in order to solve it, in order to water, you know, pour your emotions into things and make them grow into something beautiful. And that's what this is all about. Your spiritual journey is about to be fucking beautiful, but you have to put your emotion into it and you have to decide that you want to transform and that you do want to awaken and you want to open that third eye. Very powerful month for Libras. And, um, as I said, you know, we're going to talk about your crystal energy next, but 
the crystal that you have selected is totally about that. It's about protection. It's going to help you eliminate your fear. So anyway, goal, practice the art of transformation by like being mindful again, the energy of mindfulness of when you're kind of slipping into a negative mode and then switching that over. So now let's talk about that crystal. What you guys have for the month of February is smoky quartz. Okay. Now, Smoky Quartz comes in a lot of different um, figurations. I honestly, I love this one, but it was pulled for Pisces. You guys have it in the form of like a scepter or a wand, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be, but something like flatter is what you guys got for whatever reason. Um, so anyway, Smoky Quartz, what's it all about? It's about grounding, it's about protection, it's about eliminating fears, it's about um, replacing your fears with positive light energy, it gets rid of depression, it um, eliminates things in our life that don't actually help us, it will increase our own psychic awareness. There's so many benefits to these. It'll also actually help you um, quit like smoking and drugs and alcohol or, or things that are bad for you. Anyway. Point is, this is your crystal of the month. So um, this specific one, I put on my website if you're interested in purchasing it. If not, doesn't matter. If you don't even like crystals, who cares? But um, you can go to your local rock, show, rock store or whatever, or spiritual store and get your own. But if you do wanna work with crystals, this is the crystal of the month for you, your smoky, smoky quartz. Okay, so that's your February. I look forward to talking to you again in March. And then um, again in February, I will release the love readings where you get more specific details on your love life. So love and light and see you soon. Bye Libra.